What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of Great Moments and Bad Gimmicks. I wanted to start this series off with a doozy, and, and I came across this one a few months ago. Just the name alone sounds hilarious, and I'm talking about a really dumb idea in the 1990s that the WWF at the time came up with called the Toxic Turtles. At the height of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle craze, you know, Street Sharks, and all those knockoffs, some executive in the WWF said, hey, let's do a Ninja Turtles parody. Now, honestly, this can't be as bad as it sounds, so let's go ahead and take a quick look and see what we're up against. And their opponent, hailing from Terrytown. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what the hell was that? Like seriously, what the hell did I just see? Tom and Terry, the toxic turtles. Wow, okay, that's not any less retarded the longer I look at it. <laughs> yes, you heard that correctly. That was Tommy and Terry, the Toxic Turtles. Never mind the entrance music. Like, how did this go completely wrong in every conceivable level? And beyond that, how did this get past the conceptual level of, Hey, I have an idea. Someone should have been Fired. Wow. But, before we go in and take a look a little bit at the match here, because I want to at least let you guys see kind of how their one and only match went here, I do have some info on the Turtles. Uh, the Toxic Turtles were made up of Dwayne Gill, you know, Gilberg. So at least he got a good gimmick at some point. And Barry Hardy, who I... Other than competing as one of the executioners, eh, I think this is a downgrade for him. But yes, this gimmick was pitched to Vince McMahon, and he greenlit it. Now, <laughs> to be fair, as with a lot of things, they test them at house shows. This clip I have for you was off of a DVD release uh, called Unreleased that the WWE put out. And the Toxic Turtles debuted, I believe it was at Madison Square Garden. It was at a house show. It went over like a lead balloon and never made it past the house show stage. You look at the costumes, it's no surprise why. They are the Toxic Turtles, as in they're meant to be radioactive like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but they come out to really generic jungle music. Like, you couldn't take teen the actual Lorne Michaels theme song and, like, change a couple notes up or change the pitch at all, or, I don't know, you're a billion-dollar company. Have him make an intro. And again, if this went farther than a one-time house show, they may have gone deeper and gotten better costumes or have gotten better uh, music here but dear god for what this was this was embarrassing like oh my goodness this is embarrassingly bad but I'm going to do you a solid let's watch the match and I'll give some commentary here before I close out the video but this I wanted to be the first great moments and bad gimmicks namely because it's hilarious and secondly, this one, I don't have to talk a ton. When I do Macho Warrior Rick Hogan, if I can find enough info, that one's going to involve a little more conversation because it's a little more deep. But I've been wanting to do this one for a while. This is freaking hilarious at just how stupid it is. And this, the worst part is, someone got paid for pitching this idea. Let that sink in. Someone got paid. Hopefully Monopoly money, but dear God, someone got paid to pitch the idea of the Toxic Turtles. And now granted, we're all wrestling fans. We all know there's bad gimmicks out there. 
Kane was Isaac Yankum DDS. You duped a dumpster drossy. Max frickin' Moon. <laughs> the gobbledygook. <laughs> and the probably the penultimate of bad gimmicks is uh, the Shocker. So they're out there. It sucks when you get stuck with one as a wrestler, but great talent can make a bad gimmick work. But there was no talent on this planet that could take a gimmick this stupid and make it work. But Barry Hardy and Dwayne Gill did their damnedest to try to make this work. So let's take a look. Sweet merciful Christ, those costumes look dumber and dumber every time I look at them. Why? I honestly feel sorry for the jobbers who have to go out and lose to these two. They look completely disinterested. The guys in the costume look like they can't move in them. This is a spectacular failure on a magnitude of levels that I haven't seen in a long time. This is beautiful. Alright, this is the one thing I will give to the performer's credit here with such a shit gimmick. The guy kicked out of the pin, he landed on his back, and he did the whole turtles can't get off their back thing. To me, that was brilliant Im improvisation by this guy. Because he just got handed this god-awful gimmick, and in an interview, Dwayne Gill stated he'll take, he took any gimmick because he just wanted to wrestle more. So I don't feel that bad for him. But you took something this bad and did something kind of cool with it. So kudos there. What the hell was that? Really? Really? <laughs> this was obviously an incredibly bad idea for a gimmick. Kudos for trying to make it work, guys, but there was no making this work. This was awful. Someone should have been fired. Someone should have been blacklisted from ever working in the industry again. But sadly, this is not the worst gimmick we'll cover. Uh, but damn, let's finish the match and I'll come back to close out the show. Terribly gimmicked toxic turtles, terribly gimmicked toxic turtles, terribly gimmicked toxic turtles, someone should have been fired, what the hell? I don't get how you could even green light this, it was crap. How did you not see that this was gonna fail? What's up with that? Horribly gimmicked stuff. The costumes are ugly and kind of rough. Okay, I'm done trying to do the Ninja Turtles theme. See, not even trying, just off the top of my head, laughing at this, I came up with something that would work as a mock intro, uh, music intro for this gimmick. But there you have it, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of Great Moments and Bad Gimmicks. I have many more, and as I go on with these, and there's a little more meat and potatoes to do with each one of these, I'll have some more involved you know, transitions and things like that. But that was the one and only match, debut, f ending, and failure of the Toxic Turtles. Dear God, that was an awful idea. I'm very glad that that didn't go past the house show. Because even as a little kid who, pretend who didn't know wrestling wasn't real. I mean, you, you know, the guys know the drill. That it was scripted and all that. I didn't know that as a kid. I thought Yokozuna hated America because I was a kid and, you know, need to ruin everything for children. <laughs> but uh, I would have quit watching wrestling if that nonsense came out to the arena because, oh my goodness, that's just... that. Then again, I don't know. I watched Max Mood, so what the hell do I know? You know, my child self probably would have watched it and enjoyed it anyways. But I want to thank you all for tuning in for Great Moments and Bad Gimmicks. I'm going to go down a gallon of bleach just so I can forget the nonsense I just watched. 
I want to thank you for tuning in. And we'll keep these going for as long as I can find bad gimmicks that have interesting backstories behind them. My next one is going to be Macho Warrior Rick Hogan. Yes, the name is awesome. The gimmick is hilarious and atrocious. I'm looking forward to it. Peace out, everybody.